Hey guys, my name's Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, welcome. <laughs> Glad to see you today. Thanks so much for popping along and spending part of your day with me. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial from our Mail It Minutes playlist. It's just a cute little pair of earrings using uh, the European for in one weave. All right, guys, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so here's a sample piece of the earrings that we're going to be making today. So as you can see, it's just a simple European four in one pattern. Coming up now on the screen are the materials and tools that you'll need to make this uh, tutorial up today. And it'll also be listed down in the description section for you. Okay, so to start the tutorial, I'm going to take our large ring and I'm going to pop on our ear wire. And then I'm also going to place seven of our first color on our small rings. Now you can pre-close these rings if you like, um, or you can just pop them on like I am. Um, they're just straight out of the packet and I'm going to close them up before I move on to the next step. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you like pre-closing, uh, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise you can just do as I'm doing here, popping them onto the ring and then going through and closing them up. It's a personal preference. One way is not better than the other. So uh, it's totally up to you to, to you to do whatever way works best. So I've gone through and I've closed all my um, this first level of small rings and I'm now going to take up another small ring in the same colour to create the next row. I'm going to come in and I'm going to pick up this first two pair of rings with my new ring and close that up. Okay, bring in another ring of the same colour and this time I'm going to pick up one new ring and one previous ring and I'm going to close that up okay so our work currently looks like this and I'm going to do that all the way along the row so I'm going to grab another ring I'm going to pick up one new ring, the next new ring, and then one previous ring, making sure that I'm stacking my new rings up on top of each other. Okay. And just keep going like that, guys. Until you've joined all the rings together. and see how that's going so just keep adding rings along making sure you pick up one new ring and one previous ring until you've joined all those rings to each other okay and we've got one more ring to go. Okay, so this is what our work currently looks like. So our first row is seven rings, our next row is six rings, and then we're going to add the next row. This time I'm going to go to my next colour. So you can do this all in one colour or you can do it graduating like this. And again, I'm going to go back to the beginning here and I'm going to go through those first two rings from the row that we just completed. Okay, just like we did before. Take up another ring. And 
we want to go through one new ring and one old ring as we did before but this time when we place our new ring we're not going to place it on top of the previous ring we're going to place it underneath our previous ring like that can you see that so that it sits underneath because we want this row to mimic our first row here so you can see that there um, and as we're going from um, right to left that our new rings are all stacked underneath so we need to make sure that this row looks the same as this row here okay so just continue adding your rings to this row as you have been picking up one new one previous and remembering to stack it up underneath the ring that you just added Okay, until you have placed all the rings in this row, which will be a total of five rings. Oops. Now, these gauges are a little small, so I do apologise if my fingers are getting in the way. Um, I'm trying very hard to make sure that you guys uh, can see everything I'm doing. You can obviously make these much larger earrings by um, using a much larger gauge. Basically anything that you use for European 4-in-1 can be used to make these, um, this design up with. flipped over that's what the problem is there okay that one wasn't sitting properly because it had flipped over while we were uh, putting the other um, rows in rather rings in so that's just something to keep an eye on um, very early on it won't happen as you get further along all right so there you go we've placed five rings we're now going to place another row uh, this time with the same color and there will only be four rings in this row. So again, we go back to our first two rings here and we go straight through and pick them up. Okay. Then we grab another ring. And we wanna grab a new ring and a previous ring and this time when we lay our ring down we're actually going to go on top of the ring that we just placed okay so remember to keep that pattern in mind one ring is on top one ring is on next row is underneath on top underneath um, alternating in that way okay so again as we were doing one new one old until you've placed all the rings of that color in your piece okay and then it's time to change to a new color so we're just doing the same thing all the way down going down um, one ring at a time so we go through our first two now because we were on we stacked on top last time we're going to stack underneath this time okay so one new one old and we're going to sit underneath our previously placed ring okay and then one new one old and slip it in behind okay and that's all there is for that row now we need to place our next row which will be made up of two rings so again, one old, well in this case we go back to our first two, sorry, our first two rings. We place that. This ring is uh, going to sit on top. So one, old, one new, one old, and then on top of the previous ring. And then we just need to place one more ring. I'm going to use the same colour. And we put that through our last two sets of rings okay guys there you go there's your completed earring 
Now, if you want to make your second earring um, a mirror, if, that's, if that sort of thing um, worries you, then when you place your second row of rings, here we placed our second row on top, here I placed the second row so that the new rings went underneath. I hope you can see that. So here's the one I just did and the rings went on top, on top, on top of each other. You can see that with our second row. With our second row on this pair of earrings, our earrings went, our rings, our new rings went underneath, underneath each other. So that way when you're finished, you've got a set of um, earrings that mirror each other. If that doesn't bother you, just repeat the steps that I did and uh, you'll end up with a pair of earrings that um, looks the same. That's it guys, there you go. European 4-in-1 fan earrings. Alright guys, well that's it today, that's the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and you've now got a fabulous pair of new earrings to wear. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here at YouTube. Share the video, leave any comments or questions you may have down below in the comment section. We do love hearing from you guys. Also, don't forget if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. It really does help our channel and it encourages us to keep going and creating these videos for you. Uh, while you're here, don't forget to check out all the videos that we've uh, got on the channel. Uh, there's about 170 odd videos at time of recording. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give our shop link up here in the corner a little love where you'll find all the bits and bobs and tools and you know what's it's that you'll need to make these earrings and many of our other tutorials. All right, guys, thanks again. And I hope to see you sometime in the very near future. Okay, bye.